I look like crap, I look like crap, I look like crap, I look like crap, oh well. How are my kitties? Well, Spaz, he got a little bit of knots out. He still has some knots, but that's Spaz for you. He gets knots here and there. He's old. He's like 20 years old or something like that. I don't know. He was homeless. And I took him in for like 20 years or whatever. <laughs> Close to it. So, yeah, he never likes to be brushed and... Yeah, now he's old. He doesn't like to be touched or anything. You know, in old people, they don't like to be touched or bothered or anything. And their body hurts and they don't like to be touched on top of that. So, yeah, that's spaz. So, of course, me, I believe that. And I don't like to bug or bother anyone. Just like they don't, somebody is like, I don't want you to phone me. I don't want you to talk to me or whatever. So, I don't bug anyone. I don't bother anyone. And I believe in that. It's just like, okay, I'm not talking to you. I'm not, you know, I don't like bothering anyone. I leave them alone. You know, so, yeah. Even though he's a cat and everything, same thing, you know. Um, his meow is really, really loud. It's louder and sort of more obnoxious than ever in that. And the way he meows and that sort of <laughs> horkies. It's like an old man that smokes in that, you know. But he has that nose whatever thing. Maybe it's upper respiratory or some sort of thing. But always living in the basement, especially basement in this filthy, diseased place. God only knows, you know, with my brother sweep, sweep, sweep all the time and all these different cleaners. He uses all kinds of cleaners. He's always with like Febreze spray, you know, air freshener and always with Lysol and all that, you know, and always sweep, sweep, sweep. And then the carpet fresh and putting carpet fresh on the carpets and there's carpets in here. And all these rotten carpets and they'd never been washed and they weren't washed in the first place when he first moved in here. And there's other people living here and everything and who knows what lives in the attic here and mice that live in the garage and all kinds of mice poop in there and you could smell the uh, gas from the people that had the cars here and all the garbage and all the time and chicken noodle smell from my brother smells like chicken noodles rotten soup and everything and his feet always smell rotten and the whole house smells like his rotten feet and everything and you know, the dogs, the dogs go for walks and everything, God knows what they bring in, and everything, it just, oh. We lived here 10 years and nothing cleaned. You know, the ducks, whatever, you know, your house, the ducks, whatever, the vents have never been cleaned out. And we lived here 10 years and with seven long-haired pets and the other people living here. And I don't know, this house is about 15 years old. The ducks never, the vents never cleaned out. Anywho, so yeah, all the stuff in the basement and all the hair and dust in it and everything. God knows, poor Spaz, you know. Anywho, so yeah. But he's old. He's like, that's like 100 years old, almost 100 years old. He is in cat years. But I got him glucosa pet for his achy joints because they used to have a whiskus, the joint care in the treats. But he hasn't had them in a couple of years. They went out. People hate that. I hate that they went out, that they don't have them for sale anymore. You know, I hate that. Anywho, so he, I always give him treats, you know, the Denta and the Hairball treats are just the regular treats. He likes the Wild West Crunch treats, you know, and I feed him the soft, fancy face food. He loves that, and he always wants his food. He sleeps on his little pillows, you know, on the bench there, and he has his little toys. He has two different little, you know, mice. And he has Grover, a stuffed Grover I bought him. My sister knit some blankets and he sleeps with those, you know, another little catnip toys and the one little stick toy that I made him for Christmas, you know, last year, the Christmas that just passed. I got a, he had a bath not too long ago, though, um, but I got to finish getting his knots, uh, you know. He's good, though, you know, he's pretty much probably deaf and that, you know, but he's still good. <sighs> And Miss Summer here. There she there she is. Sleeping away in her box. Um I give her the light the light L lysine, you know. Uh and I just put the I put Tobrex ointment in her eye and maybe just regular lube thing from pet in her eye. And that's what I give her and we're just used to it and we just accept that and that's it. And her eyes are doing better, but they're not fully cured. I don't know if they ever will. I don't think they ever will be, but better than what they were. And 
She has more energy than she used to and she's happier than what she used to be. She loved going shopping and being outside and being in her stroller. She loved that. Uh, she's She would be Miss Diva if she could be, you know. Um, she loves that though. You know, she loves her box. So, yeah. Uh, and Madeline, she just walks around everywhere and walks, walks around everywhere. She wants to play in that. There's no room for her to play though. She wants to play, she follows me everywhere, and I'm like tripping over her, and it's kind of annoying, <laughs> you know. Um, she keeps getting a lot of boogers, and she gets her dirty food face. Um, she has knots, I got some of her knots out, she's always been like that. She's got like so many layers, and it's woolly, her fur and everything. Um, she has that thing where she's like drunk, she falls over, you know. Um, but she's been a little more drunk than ever, like that, a little more tipsy-turvy, you know, poor thing. Uh, Jelly Bean, she just sleeps, sleeps, sleeps all the time. I gotta wake her up and get her to do more. She was doing better. Now she's not playing ball or anything, so I don't like that or anything. Um, she did have two infected ears. Both of her ears got infected. They still are. They're starting to get better, though. They are on the mend and getting better. You know, um... She's so cute. She doesn't even look real. That cat is just too cute for life. Uh, she's so beautiful. She's more than perfect. But you can't see her scar or anything. Uh, yeah. But I gotta get her up and doing more and get her playing volley again, though. I gotta get, to get her doing that. Uh... So that's my kitties. That's Madeline. That's Summer. That's Buster. He's just Buster all the time. He's more itchy scratchy. He was doing really good, but ever since June, something came into bloom or something. June, July, itchy, itchy scratchier than ever. He was doing much better with his itchy scratchy. It came down, but ever since June hit, something came out. Something came into bloom. Bloom in June and July. He's more itchy and scratchier. Yep, and he wants to go out and play more. You know, but there's no room in my room. There's just not enough. I packed stuff more in that, and there's no room for them to play. But his weight is good. He lost like a pound and has kept it off, so that's good. Yep. And so, you know, and yeah. I gave him flea drops. I gave him flea drops just that I bought in the store. And. He's been loving the swing, the baby swing, recently, the past week or week and a half. He's been just sleeping in it and swinging in it and loving it. He's really addicted to it. Nobody was going in it for quite a while. I bought him another Spider-Man chair. It's the fold-down one because I got him the hard one and he didn't like it at all. So I just put it up in my stuff. I was packing, but I got him the fold-down one because he liked my other one that was with the tent, the other tent that we had. And then I broke the chair a little bit, but it was still okay. But I folded it and put it away. So I got him a Spider-Man one. At first he was sitting in it, and so was Summer. They were both fighting over it. It's like, okay, but now... Pfft, he's not sitting in it. Nobody is. But now he's in the swing, and he loves the swing. He's just obsessed with the swing. It's like, well, that's okay. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Besides that, he's doing good. But he doesn't really want to eat his food. He's not eating much of his food. He's just eating a few treats out of it and a bit of his food, not too much. But he wants to eat the girl's food. And then his poopy, because as you know, he's got the obstipation problem, isn't as good as it's supposed to be. So that's not good. I gotta get him to eating more food and uh, better of his food and nothing but his food so then his poopy can get better. But, yeah. And me. My side has been killing me like anything, and everything else is crappy, 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 and I'm not healthy. I'm doing pretty crappy, and I've gained a bunch of weight, like five pounds, six pounds, whatever, and I've gained a bunch of weight in like three and a half years, which isn't good, and crap, 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 and eating crappy and everything, and this, that, for so many reasons, and valid reasons, and that, but yeah, I'm not going to buy any more food now, because I should have enough food until I move, and I need to lose weight anyways, and... <laughs> I need to get healthier. 
but the countdown is down because there's not going to be any places available. They're all going to be gone, and I don't know what to do. I just don't see anything online and where to look, and the places I do look, it's like there's not much there or there's not anything there, and everything is like crappy and so expensive and all that. And I gotta find a good place because all these like places like if you go with disability or whatever <sighs> you gotta wait like 20 30 years that's how overpopulated we are and I'm not waiting 20 or 30 years uh, no hello I'll be dead definitely by then or I'll be more than a senior citizen so why wouldn't I just look at senior citizens then like no stupid you know and how can I wait till then? I can't, you know, neither can my cats and that, and I would be dead by then, and that doesn't make sense, and whatever. I want to move into an area that is clean and safe, into a place that is clean and safe. Uh, yeah, hello. So, yeah. I don't know. I need to get boxes, but I found a place online that does sell everything to anything, and then some to do with moving, so yeah. But I did get two Colin and Katie t-shirts. <laughs> um, but I need to get them and I need to pack all my stuff. I don't know how I'm ever going to do it. But then after I do that, I need to sell all my stuff and get rid of it in so many different ways. Try to sell all my stuff because I don't need the germs. I don't need the memories and I just don't need all that stuff. And I need the money. <laughs> I need to start off new and fresh and with new things. And getting that stuff would be great too. Yeah. It's true. Yep. It's gonna be fun, you know, living in my own place and learning where everything is and new things and discovering it and a new life and getting healthy and everything. It's just gonna be great and wonderful. And no rules, no relations, no jealousy, no hatred, no violence, no abuse, no anything is gonna be awesome. Decorating my new place and cleaning it, having my new place, having nothing like it is here. <sighs> Getting healthy and happy, my pet's healthy and happy. Decorating the place, cleaning it, having my own place, just everything. Getting rid of my stuff, making the money from it, just everything. And getting all new stuff, just everything. And losing weight, getting my lipid section done, my new skin, getting skinny, being healthy, happy, my pets, everything. Rid of this crap and everything, having all the room, everything just everything to everything like things you don't even know or aren't even aware of and that and even I'm not aware of and don't even know of and everything I just can't wait it's just so much to do and it's just gonna take like the rest of this year and probably a couple more years by the time I do everything get everything done and then I'm healed from everything and that maybe this year and maybe two or three years by the time I actually do it all and accomplish it all and I'm all healed from it and that but It'll all be worth it in the end, and as I do it, it'll be worth it, and I'll be exciting, and maybe by the time I'm 45 years old, it'll all be done and accomplished and everything, and that'll be just so great and wonderful, then I can just sit back and just think, what are the next things I'm going to do and accomplish? Now that I have my own place, and it's all cleaned, and it's all decorated, and everything and everything is accepted and done, and I have all new things and everything else, is done and gone. I got rid of all my other things and I lost weight and I'm healthy and happy and all my liposuction is done and loose skin and I lost weight and my cats are happy and healthy. I'm happy and healthy and just everything is done, accomplished. I have credit cards and credit rating and references, like just everything, you know. Now what? I'm healthy and whatever, you know. It's like the next thing is I, I forget gotten, forgave, I knew where everything is, I got used to everything, you know, the first time for this, and the second time for the third, and I'm used to everything now, I know where everything is, my life is my life now, everything is everything, you know, everything is done, accomplished, wow, you know, and everything is just great, then what, you know, you go on to new things, you know, and totally new things, and you go on to having your life now. Me being 45 years old, I will have gone through a lot and experienced a lot and be really knowledgeable, <laughs> really smart and experienced in everything. At least I won't be that old or anything. Too old to do a lot of things and everything. I've gone through a lot and that. But hopefully I will be happy and healthy and feel a lot better. I can do some things at least. Same with my kitties. 